hi guys you're welcome back to my channel it's a girl for lie today's tutorial will be on how to cut shorts or knicker for a baby or toddler so before we get started if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please do that now click on the subscribe button and subscribe also turn on the post notification bell so you get notified each time i upload a new video so the fabric I'm using is already folded into four, four equal parts. And the measurements that will determine the amount of fabric you will fold is the hip measurements you are working with divided by four plus three inches. So quarter of the hip measurements plus extra three inches. That's to determine the amount of fabric you will fold into four. Now, if you are... Making a shot for a baby on diaper, make sure you measure the hip while the baby is on diaper. Do you get it now? So you can see right there, I'm marking out the crotch measurements. Now to determine the crotch, that is the under, to determine the crotch of your shot, just get the quarter of your hip measurements plus one and a half inches your hip measurement divided by four plus one and a half inches so the hip measurement i'm working with is 24 inches now 24 divided by four is six plus one and a half inches that is seven and a half inches which is what i have right there so i measured a straight line from the upper part my starting line down can you see it right there? So, from the starting line, I measured 2 inches for the elastic casing. Do you get it? Then from there, I measured the length of the short and also added extra 2 inches for the hem. That is to fold it at the hem. After you have measured your crouch, your Honda, make sure you have extra 3 inches to the end of that fold. Can you see it right there? Make sure you have at least three inches. For a one year hold, you can just make it two inches. So that's points. Make sure you have three inches right there. So for the length of your crotch, I also make use of seven inches. Do you get it now? So just curve it in like manner as I'm doing. Just curve it out that way. And also for the knee, or wherever your shot is getting to, just measure um, around the place and divide it by two, which is what I'm doing right here. So I divided that knee area by two, and I will connect it to the upper part. But when you are connecting it, you will see the way I'm going to do it now. You have to fold the hem so that by the time you want to fold the hem, you will fold it in. It will not be shorter. You will see the way I'm going to fold the hem in before I cut it out. So this is all we have for our pattern. So right now I'm ready to cut it out. But before I do that, I will have to fold the hem in like manner. So I'm folding the hem. That is the hem allowance to fold it in. Then I will cut out my pattern so can you see what we have there i will notch the hem allowance now, unfolding it, can you see the shape right there? So if I had cut it straight down, I would have had shortage while folding it in. But now, it will be equal, like it will align with the short. So right now, I'm going to cut that part open because it is folded. And we are going to go over to the sewing. Now, going over to the sewing, you can see what we have. So, right sides are facing each other. 
you place your shirt right sides facing each other, your fabric right sides facing each other. So you, you go and sew in the, just stitch around the crotch area on both sides. I'll go and do that now. So I've done that and you can see I even had to stop stitch on it to hide the hedges. You can use an overlocking for this. And I also fold the hem. So you can just fold the hem at this point, whatever allowance you left at the hem, just fold it in at that point too. Now what we are going to do now is to open it up like so. Can you see it? And just sew the under. Now at this point, you can use the measurement of your knee or wherever your shirt is getting to, to determine what the opening is going to be. So you just sew round the Honda in like manner. And I will also advise that you run your stitches multiple times at that point towards the Honda. Make sure you run your stitches multiple times around there. So I'll go and do that now. Can you see it? So you just run your stitches around there. And I will also fold the elastic casing. Can you see? I'll fold it in in like manner and stitch it all around, leaving a small opening that I will pass the elastic through with um, a safety pin. So this is the outcome. You can see how it looks like. I've stitched the under, I've folded the elastic casing. Can you see what I did right there? So I will now have to pass the elastic through it. It's a one inch elastic I'll be making use of. So I'll pass it through it using a safety pin. Can you see it? And our shirt is ready. So you can see the small opening I, I left there. So I'll just pass it in like so. And our shirt is ready. Thank you for joining me till this end. If this tutorial has been helpful, kindly give this video a giant thumbs up. And don't forget to share. And if you are yet to also subscribe, please do that now. Click on the subscribe button and subscribe. Thank you for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.